What's going on, champions? It's your boy, Larry635135, coming to you live. And today, I am excited. The reason I am excited is because I finally got a decent new superstar. And it just so happens that she is the first uh, fight in Chapter 2 of the Undead Takeover Tour. And it's this lady right here, the Raven-Haired Renegade, Paige. Uh, I pulled her at Two Star Bronze. And then throughout the event this past weekend, grinded and got the three-star bronze. So we'll go ahead and fuse that up. And I'll go ahead and put the move set on her that I'm going to be running, which is the uh, snap suplex, which turns protect gems into crossbreak gems. The DDT, which destroys yellow gems of my choosing. And then the PTO, which converts gems... Uh, to protect gems after the submission. Uh, for this first run, we're going to be trying a spec that I saw. Uh, we're going to be running her with Bray Wyatt, which gives uh, four extra black MP to start with. And then the second person we're going to run her with is Zombie Kevin Owens. And that will make her submission last a couple more turns. So now we will go ahead and level her. There is a, a coin and TP event going on right now. So this is not going to waste. I've got a couple hundred shards that I might as well burn through. And since I don't have that many black TP, it was a good thing. Uh, now I have a plethora of red, so we can go ahead and upgrade this DDT all the way. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the suplex. So fully upgraded at three star bronze. Her moves are going to be at level 8. Level 8. And I'll show you those here. Pause the video if you want to see those. Now we'll go ahead and throw some levels on her. We'll just throw uh, whatever money we have at her. Go ahead and get her up to level 58. And now we'll go back out to Fate. Face. It would be really nice if I could speak to face the legit dead boss, Sasha Banks. This is our first match with Paige. I don't get a black move, so I'll get some red. I'll go ahead and start charging up. Not that I'm gonna need the red moves, but uh, we, we always play like it's a, a feud situation. Go ahead and lock her into the PTO. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to select yellows that are in lines and columns with other yellows, but which also will likely not be broken. You'll see the reason for that uh, as soon as we start running our red moves. Uh, but you won't get to see it in this match because it's over. So that was really nice. I think that was turn... Three, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, if we'd got a black match on turn one, we could have ended it turn two, but we had to wait uh, just an extra turn for that move to charge all the way up. Next match is up against Becky Litch, the man. Becky Rollins doesn't have the same sound as Becky Lynch. If you get it, you get it. And what I did here is I saw this yellow cascade and it uh, pulled me away from that black match that was over on the right-hand side. That's the match that I should have taken uh, because then on this turn, we would be able to run the submission. But instead, I'm going to take more red because uh, the black will be ready next turn anyway. And we'll go ahead and put those out. Uh, there's only three yellow gems on the board, so we're going to pick two, and then we're going to pick another third random gem uh, somewhere down toward the bottom that we don't think is going to get broken. 
with these subs lasting for five turns with zombie Kevin Owens, uh, a lot can happen. So, uh, and especially when you get a, a board rearranged, uh, that's definite. That's a that's a given. That's a definite thing to happen. did lose one of them. So now we'll go ahead and show you the red moves. The snap suplex is gonna turn all, that's right, all protect gems into um, cross break gems. So if we had run that submission more than once, uh, there would be a multiplicity of those on the board. Uh, now the DDT lets us destroy two yellow gems. That's why we put our submission gems on yellow gems. So not only do they protect us, but once they become cross breaks, we also have the ability to destroy them. Um, now, one thing I have heard people say in multiple videos is that Paige's damage does not scale well. Uh, this is only the third match that I'll be doing with her, so I haven't seen that yet. Um, if that's the case, I'll report back later in a later video and let you guys know that that is in fact the case. The black match turn one. And she's going to make it where I can't get that red line break. So, again, we'll go ahead and run the uh, PTO. It was immediately after doing that that I realized I made a mistake. But because it is a CPU, I guess they have it programmed to be absolutely stupid and not destroy them. Oh, they're gonna, okay, they're gonna take them now. So now we basically have to start from scratch. We'll see how quick she is from scratch. Red move. Must be getting that move off every turn. Uh, so now we will run the um, DDT. Uh, that will put us within one match of ending it. So we'll go ahead and take that match over on the right-hand side. So fortunately, she was in danger. If not, we would have probably not gotten three stars on this one. Uh, but, but in the end, we, we ended up with it. So uh, very fortunate in that regard. So she's a little slow out of the gate. Uh, if you don't have uh, a trainer on her. Now, you can also run her with Sting as trainer and bump those... Um, bump those other moves up, the, the red moves. So what I'm thinking about doing then is instead of running Zombie KO, who I haven't really needed to use that submission to drain anybody's MP yet, I think I'm going to put Dolph Ziggler on. Because what I noticed in that last match is uh, after those cross breaks, I mean after those protect gems were off the board, I had no way of causing a pinfall. With Ziggler, I can choose more gems to break. Um, and that may potentially, like Andre, uh, be able to cause a pinfall. So, so I'm going to try that. Uh, we get a great wild card off the bat. Uh, so all of our moves are going to be ready turn two. That's great. You love to see it. When you're recording a YouTube video, you love to see stuff like that. One of Dead Charlotte's bloody boots. And now we run the sub. We're going to put it on all yellow this time because we just put it on Ziggler. Uh, so we may end up getting to destroy all three of those. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. Looks 
like to do, actually. So here we go. Suplex. Okay. Why is it only letting me choose two? Either way, we got a nice cascade and we got the third one to break. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to this point in the video and um, really enjoying this character. Until next time, we'll see you then.